So last week, I was able to finish up my uh, 3D printed bullet collator. Uh, you can see it hanging on the wall behind me. It's that blue box uh, right here. And essentially, it's working really well. Um, I do have a little bit of tweaking that needs to happen with it um, in that uh, out of the first hundred rounds that I loaded, um, I had two bullets go nose down instead of nose up. Um, so it's just a little bit of tweaking, and I believe that largely that is just to do with the angle of the uh, feeder itself. So pretty easy to fix. Um, all the parts work. Uh, there's no issues there. Um, and the mount that I've got is adjustable. Uh, it comes in the files, so you can print it, and that all works. So today I'm going to walk you through all of that. I'm going to load uh, a few rounds and show you that, um, and just show you what happened. Um, let's do a quick walkthrough and show you this, all right? All right, so up here. This is that 3D printed uh, case feeder or bullet collator. It's the same parts, it just depends on what you put inside of it. Um, I think we can get up here. You can see I got this thing full. Little wheel you'll print out um, to fit. Uh, whatever bullets you're using, and it will drop them right through this hole. This I just bought from Double Alpha, and then it drops down into this drop tube. This is a proximity sensor. Um, I believe it's magnetic, but basically if it senses something in this tube, it sends a signal to a relay and turns off this motor. Okay. Um, I've actually got a control box right here. I've got adjustable speed, power switch, there's a relay inside there, um, as well as that speed controller. So uh, that's pretty straightforward. Um, this is just a standard, uh, I can't remember how many volts it is, but standard um, power supply. And then going back over here, so this part it is basically a drop tube, and it fits, uh, depending on the size of the bullets, there's about eight or nine bullets stacked up in here. And then this black piece right here is also 3D printed. And that is a bullet feed die. So when I put a case up here, it will, let's see if I can do this one-handed, drop down those bullets and you get one bullet at a time. So from my last video I had talked about this uh, case feeder that I've got. So for this right now I'm just stacking bullets or brass I'm sorry stacking brass into these tubes and using this. What I will be doing next is printing out another one of those collators uh, for brass and attaching it here. So that's the plan. That's the overall uh, uh, setup of this. And let's show you running a little bit of ammo. So let's walk you through loading a few rounds, uh, show you how this is all going to work. Um, basically, I got everything loaded up here. Everything's on. Let's see if this uh, automates well and works. Um, I've run 100 rounds through it already before. So Dropping that brass down here, no problem. I have had an issue, like I said, a couple of times where uh, that brass will drop and get kind of uh, sideways, and then you end up pushing this off. All right, so first one is getting resized. I got a primer going in. I've got uh, powder there. All right, so now we're getting into that bullet seating die, or bullet feed die. So we should just drop a single bullet in. We're good there. And that just kicked on automatically. You probably caught that little light there. As you drop one, that's going to rotate until I get a few more bullets down that tube. So I probably have to adjust my bell a little bit, but this still works pretty well. Um, since I don't have my powder check die, um, I've got to make sure I'm looking and checking 
the powder is correct, um, just as a visual. So no big deal. So that's our first brass or uh, first bullet that it made. Worked pretty well. Seeing that primer was a little crunchy, but no big deal. And that felt odd, but that worked. So again, you still got to pay attention to your whole reloading process. But now, I don't have to pick up the brass, and I don't have to pick up the bullets and set them. And that's all automated. But this can actually move along pretty well. Um, you can knock out 100 rounds. I would say I speeded up my time by about, you know, I'm going twice as fast now as um, I had been before. Let's see, I haven't seen any of these bullets come in uh, upside down, so I think I may have tweaked that correctly, but uh, we'll see. I, there, there is this little sight window, so you can keep an eye on it, and if you see one coming up, it's no problem. You can uh, fix it as soon as it gets on the glass. But that's it. This is working pretty well. Just wanted to show you that, and I will show you the next one when I end up doing uh, the uh, brass collator. Anyway, take care.